Thank you for joining me today on Your Dad Academy. Please like and subscribe and help me get up to 1,000 subscribers. Now let's start the video. So today on Your Dad Academy, we're gonna be talking about perpetual motion machines and if you can actually do this thing that's right behind me. And we're gonna talk about whether it's possible or whether it's not possible. So let's watch the video. Stick around to the end. I talk about a bunch of different videos that are out there. And then I also talk about one that's really cool called a gravity light. And I will make a separate video discussing what's happening with the mechanics and the engineering of the gravity light. So stick around. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for checking out my video. Uh, this is my second uh, attempt at making an overbalanced wheel. The first one we made for my son's science fair project. Uh, I want to make sure and show you the back here so you can see that there is a kind of motor back here. Um, well, let's go ahead and, and get it started. Uh, this is a perpetual motion machine, so it keeps running. It. I've actually had it running for over a month before um, without me touching it. My last video, people wanted uh, to see it run longer, so I'm going to let this one go ahead and, and run for a good long while. I'm thinking of maybe a couple of minutes. Like I said, this is my second uh, attempt at making an overbalanced wheel, um, and there are a number of things I did different this time. Uh, first off, I kept the sound. The last time, people thought that maybe it was faked since there was no sound. I, I also added more bottles so that it would have... Do you remember this old thing, like Charlie Charlie, where you balance the pencils on each other like this, and then you would ask a question, and somehow the ghost would magically move it? Are Your Dad Academy videos awesome? Oh, a ghost! Actually, what happened was I blew on it and no one could feel that I was blowing on it, and that's how you get the arrow to move where you want it to go. Except in this case, the videos are pretty awesome. Smoother motion. The motion wasn't uh, very smooth with fewer bottles, uh, which led to some people thinking that it was fake. And, and this time I went ahead and used clear bottles and added uh, food coloring this time. That way you can really see how if you look over on the left hand side, you can really see how the, uh, the water pulls the wheel around. I also uh, went ahead and used longer bottles this time to generate a little bit more power. And then, uh, just like the last time, I, I had to dissolve a ton of salt water uh, into the salt into the water to make it heavier. Let's look up conservation of energy. Look here. It basically says that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Ah, but it can be transformed into another type of energy. So let's look up the law of conservation of energy. It works here in both physics and chemistry. It says that the energy in the system cannot be created or destroyed. It can be transformed. Well, it can be transformed from potential energy based on the position of the object or stored energy in it or the kinetic energy, the potential energy, gets transformed into the energy of motion, which is called kinetic energy. And I did a really good job of cleaning the bearings and hubs uh, to keep the, uh, the friction level down. My next goal is to add a small generator to this and have it power a small light or a calculator. Uh, I have links to our first wheel, as well as uh, a video showing me putting this one together. Um, and that's it, so if you have any, uh, if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great. That way you can see my update when I... These guys were showing something that's really cool called the Bernoulli Principle. You take on your hair dryer and you put a ping pong ball there and you can balance it over the air of the hair dryer. You can even turn it a little bit. It's really cool, fun to play with and awesome. Check that one out too. I'll make a separate video on the Bernoulli Principle for you using a hair dryer.
So basically, there's tons of scams on YouTube. They take something like spark plugs, wires, uh, light bulbs, magnets, and they always have these really weird, intricate designs to try to prove to you that if you put this thing together also, you're also going to be able to generate electricity. It's not true. They are all just scams, and they get millions and millions of views of people falling for this stuff. But it's just not true. A lot of times they either have a battery off camera or somewhere else in the design of the little device just to make it look like the light's turning on based on the magnets or the spinning of the uh, little mechanical machine that they've built. It's not true. It's a scam. Let's check out a couple of them. So now you take a piece of wood. I don't even know what that thing is. It has ball bearings in it. It's all ball bearings these days. So of course you have to have some kind of ball bearings in it. And the hot glue gun seems to be one of the tools of choice. The soldering iron adds some kind of professionalism to building this machine. You start adding magnets and you know, you almost have the makings of what makes a motor, but this is not true. His friend is probably off camera flicking a switch or whatever, turning on, and they never pick it up off of the table. So there's wires underneath there powering it most likely. And that's what's happening. It has nothing to do with the magnets. Here's another one. So they take a magnet and they're gonna spin it around where the spark plugs are and somehow that's going to magically generate electricity. Now this one's a little bit more intricate because what they do is they attach a battery to get it started and supposedly the spinning of the magnet, which is some of the basic properties of how our motor works, the spinning of the magnet will continue to generate electricity and keep the motor running but they don't ever pick it up or show you anything else after they've got it started. So most likely there is some kind of power energy source below it that keeps it running so that they can make this video and get millions of views on YouTube because that's what it's all about. There's a reason why this doesn't work. There's a reason why you don't have this in your car in your house is because it's a scam. So you can just find millions of these videos on YouTube because basically it's intricate enough that you're not going to go try it on your own and you just get fooled by it. You get sucked into watching all of these videos. Again, spark plug, uh, copper wire, some kind of wire, and probably the battery is in that little light part right there making it light up. Most likely that's all it is. There's, there's no free energy people and that's it. Now, this is not a scam. This was a Kickstarter campaign, and it's not trying to say that it generates free electricity. What it is trying to say is that as the bag falls, the bag has weights in it, as gravity pulls the bag down, it spins the little motor to generate just enough electricity to light that LED light bulb. This thing is awesome. I'm going to do a separate review of that. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video on perpetual motion machines. Please like and subscribe and click on some of my other videos. Thanks a lot. And always keep science awesome.